Miss Sarah. Happy Passover. Tonight is the first night of Passover and I thought I would share a little Passover story with you. Maybe light some candles and show you my little Seder plate. So let's start off by reading. Hooray, it's Passover. It's Passover. My relatives come from far and near to share our Seder dinner. First, we will hear the days where the Jewish people were slaves. So this Passover is really different for me because I don't have any family coming. It's just my own family, my husband and my two boys. So it's gonna be definitely a little bit different for me this year. In the land of Egypt, we will taste the special Passover foods. Crunchy matzah is my favorite. I pass out the Haggadah. And the Haggadah is a special book that the Jewish people read and it tells you the story of Passover. So here's my matzah. It's a very flat cracker type thing. So. My mommy lights the holiday candles. My father blesses the wine. We leave a glass of wine and an empty chair for Elijah. So I'm gonna light the candles for you guys right now. We all dip parsley in salt water. So, Miss Dara didn't have parsley because Miss Dara's not going to the grocery store very much right now, but she did find something else to dip. So I'm going to dip it in the salt water and I will tell you in a little bit what the salt water represents. I'm going to take a little bite of that. It's a little salty. My little brother asks the special Passover questions. Why is this night different from all other nights? He begins. When grandpa tells the story of the cruel Pharaoh and the brave Moses who led the Jewish people to freedom. My cousin sings Dainu, a happy Passover song. Miss Dara remembers singing that a lot when I was a little girl. We wash our hands at the table. Then my father says a prayer over the matzah. My uncle eats bitter herbs on their matzah. My aunts like sweet herosis. It's time for dinner and my grandma serves chicken soup with matzah balls. Our cats sniff the gefilte fish. So I love gefilte fish, but when I eat it, my entire family runs away because they think it's really yucky. After dinner, the children hunt for the afikoman, a piece of matzah that has been wrapped in a napkin and hidden. I wonder where it will be. Could it be under the couch, on top of the piano? Whoever finds it will get a special treat. And Miss Dara remembers going to um, friends' houses or at my own house and my mom um, hiding the matzah, also known as the afikoman, and then all the kids run and they go try to find the matzah. You guys can do that. If you don't have matzah, you can do it with a cracker and see if you can find if your parents hide it somewhere. I found it. Hooray. Happy, happy Passover. So here is the Seder plate. Here's the Seder plate. As you see, there's different areas of the Seder plate. Some of you might remember from other years that you were at the JCC. Um, so I, I didn't have all the things. I didn't have a real shank bone. So the shank bone represents the lamb that the Jewish people sacrificed um, as a Passover offering. And this is um, horseradish. And the horseradish represents um, the bitterness of our ancestors that they experienced as slaves in Egypt. And this is an egg, and the egg represents new life, or the cycle of life. And um, the bitter herbs um, also can represent spring or the spirit of hope. And what a lot of people do is they'll dip the 
the parsley in the salt water and the salt water app actually represents what do your tears taste like they taste like salt so the, the salt water actually represents the tears that our ancestors shed in Egypt. So that's a good reminder of what they, what they had gone through. Um, and the harosa, which I don't have any, I didn't have any apples. That's one of my favorite things. It's apples and nuts and honey, and you can put it on the matzah, which I didn't, I didn't have any. Um, but that, that, the harosa represents, um, it, it, it symbolizes the mortar that our ancestors used to, to make the bricks, to put between the bricks um, in Egypt. So again, I didn't have any of that. Um, so that's um, a little Passover um, in a nutshell. And uh, I guess uh, we'll hide the Afikoma maybe a little bit later. I'll get one of my boys to try to find it and I'll post that a bit later. Happy Passover. Bye.